iPadOS 26 is here, and it feels like the iPad just leveled up into a whole new device. We're talking stunning liquid glass visuals, way more customization, floating app windows, and even brand new apps, plus some smart intelligence upgrades that are seriously fun to play with. Let's dive into the best new features, and I'll show you some quick tips along the way. First up is liquid glass. The entire interface now looks glossy, crisp, and sharp. App icons pop more than ever, and we finally have new customization options. You can now change the color of app icons and give the lock screen a 3D effect. To change the color of your app icons, long press on your home screen, click edit, then customize. Now you can change it from default to dark, clear, or tinted. You can also adjust the color by making it a different color or making it lighter or darker depending on your preference. To get the 3D effect on your wallpaper, long press on your lock screen, click the plus button to create a new wallpaper, click photo, and choose the photo that you want. Click this button to make it 3D, and to stretch your clock, make sure that you have the first font selected. To put the clock behind the subject in your picture, click this button and select depth effect. By the way, if you're wondering about my wallpaper, I designed it myself, and you can grab it in my shop. The link is in the description below. Next new feature is Windows. This is a huge change. Apps now open in their own resizable windows, just like on Mac. Each window even has a stoplight menu in the corner. Move windows by holding down the top bar and bounce it left or right to snap it to the sides. Bounce to the top for full screen and drag to resize. Swiping down from the top of the screen will reveal the menu. And if you press and hold the stoplight, you can quickly rearrange your windows. And finally, to see all of your open apps, hold down while swiping up. Journal has finally come to the iPad. You can make multiple journals to keep your entries organized and it works beautifully with Apple Pencil. There's a new read pen tool for a calligraphy effect, plus you can type entries, drag in photos, and even track your mood. Mood tracking is so fun because not only can you track how you feel, but also what's causing it. One thing I love is how it holds onto your images, making scrolling through photos attached to an entry so easy. Another new app is the Preview app. If you've ever used it on Mac, you'll feel right at home. You can type on PDFs, drag in stickers or images, and of course, mark them up with Apple Pencil. I've been using it with my digital planner, and it's not perfect, but it's a good free option. Folders also got an update. You can now change the folder color and even add custom icons, making organization even easier. Just press and hold on a folder and select Customize Folder and Tags. Then select Tags and pick the color you want to change the folder to. From there, just pick an icon or an emoji that you want on your folder. Apple Intelligence keeps getting smarter. One of my favorite new features is custom emojis. You can now combine existing emojis to make something totally new. Head over to Playground, select New Image, make sure the top says Genmoji. Then select the emojis you want to mix together. Now you can scroll through all the beautiful or odd combinations. And if you see one you like, click Add Emoji to save it for later. For students or anyone who loves math, iPadOS 26 can now generate full 3D graphs with equations of three variables. You can rotate them, change colors, and even adjust inputs to see real-time changes. To do this, head over to the calculator and click the calculator button and select Math Notes. Tap on the equal sign in an equation and tap Insert 3D Graph. With the second equation, you can insert its own graph or add it to the original. So that's iPadOS 26. Glossy new looks, real multitasking, powerful apps, and some really fun extras. Which feature are you most excited to try? Drop it in the comments, and if you found this helpful, make sure to subscribe because I'll be posting more iPadOS 26 tips and tricks soon.